Hey everyone, this is Finn, and in this video I am going to be showing you how to set up a 2D animation in Unity. Let's create a new 2D project by clicking the New button at the top right corner, clicking the 2D template to the left of the selected 3D one, and then renaming our project. I'm going to name this Animation Testing 2D and press Create. Now that I have my project loaded up, the first thing that I want to do is bring my sprite sheet in. To do that, I'm going to right click in my project window, import new asset, and then I'm going to find my sprite sheet. For me, it's on my desktop. And then that's going to import it to my assets folder. Now I want to take this and look in the inspector, make sure that my texture type is sprite. And then I also want to go to sprite mode and change it from single to multiple. Now let's press apply down here at the bottom right and open up our sprite editor by pressing this button here that says sprite editor. Now that we have our sprite editor open, we need to figure out how to slice our two different frames. This is a very simple animation, so let's go up to the top left and open up the slice drop down menu. Let's switch the type from automatic to grid by cell count. Here we have one column and two rows. So where it says column and row, we want to say 1 where there's a C and then 2 for R. Now let's press slice. At first glance it might not look like much has happened, but hold control and you can see where our sprites are cut. It's got this green border around each sprite. Press apply at the top right and then exit out of your sprite editor. Now, if you open up your sprite sheet over in your assets folder, you have two different sprites instead of one sprite sheet. You can open it up and see what is packed inside. Now, I'm just going to drag out my sprite by clicking and dragging this first frame into our hi hierarchy. Once we drag that first frame into our hierarchy, it's going to create a 2D sprite object. I'm going to click that first one and drag it right into my hierarchy and there it is. I'm going to rename that sprite fish, save my scene, and then next we are going to bring up the animation editor. If you don't already have your animation editor in your workspace, go up to the window tab, click on animation, and then select animation again, and it'll bring up this window. I already have mine next to my console. So I will just select this window, select my fish game object, and then press this create button to create an animation clip. I'm going to name this swim. And then I'm going to add a property. In case you don't remember, adding a property allows us to choose the specific property that we are going to change in this animation. That way we can create the first keyframe here. Let's click Add Property, and then Sprite Renderer. And the very last property is the Sprite property. And that it chooses the sprite that our um, Sprite Renderer is rendering. Right now it is Fish Sprite Sheet underscore zero. That is the default name that our sprite sheet gave to our individual frames. But instead of underscore zero, my second frame says underscore one. Making sure you're selecting the fish sprite game object on your hierarchy. Scroll to the middle with this white line here. Scrub to the middle of your timeline. Press this red recording button and then go over here to where it says sprite. It's highlighted in red because it is our property. Go to the very right of that, where you have that circle icon with a dot in the center. Click that, and then select the fish sprite 
that is to the right of the one you're already currently selected on. As you can see, that changed our frame. I'm going to deselect the recording button, and I'm going to scrub through my timeline so you can see. Since I have that first frame, it starts frame number one. 30 frames in, we change to our second swimming position, and then one second in, we just change back. So we've just got a slight movement of the fish fins, and that's enough to convey swimming in this animation. So I'm going to press play, and it, we'll see what it looks like looping. And that looks pretty good to me already, so I'm going to leave that as that. I'm going to save my scene, and since I just created that animation, and we have no other animations in our uh, fish game object sprite, that is going to automatically make that swim animation our default. So if I press play, we will see our fish swimming through the water. This has been setting up a very simple 2D animation in Unity. I hope this has been helpful and have a great day.